He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Zabalski. We are both fired up to watch this EA SHL showdown. Just moments away. 
And this one is officially underway with the puck drop. Moves the puck. Takes a shot. That sails over the net. Kreider's lugging the puck. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Quick pass across to Roka. Jacksonville's got the puck against the boards. Picked up along the wall. He scores! Well, that was quick. I don't think the anthem singer's even in the car yet. That was fast. Jacksonville's made their way back to center ice here, and they've got that one nothing lead. The road is a funny place to play. You can't really be too aggressive, but when you get an early lead, James, you can open it up a little bit. The Cyclones get a hold of the puck along the boards. There's the whistle. Offside is the call, stopping the play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 1-0 the score. Fisher's one possession. Big play inside the defensive zone. Quick snap. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a reaction. Well, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. And he comes up with it. Jacksonville's been the better team to this point, and the stats show it. Fisher's won the draw here in the offensive zone. There's the whistle. Penalty coming up. Officials seeing obstruction on this one. Interference the call. When they changed the standard a few years ago, James, I thought this was one of the best ones they did because it allows the game to flow along. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Gains the it's only a game. Why well, you have to be mad? Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Johns. He was locked in there. Jabs the puck away. Gains the zone through center. Nice feed from the boards. Strong use of the body. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Power play set to expire. One last chance here, Ray. Yeah, a quick entry will give them some time in the offensive zone. Puck picked up by Roca. Cincinnati's PK unit comes up big as both sides are back to even strength. And a nasty whack after the whistle here. Yeah, he went after it pretty good there. That's a hard slap. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Jacksonville's up one zip. Puck scooped up by Johns. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Forces the turnover in the neutral zone. Jacksonville's turned this game into a really tight affair because nobody can move the puck very freely with good stick positioning to intercept pucks. Cincinnati's got a hold of it along the wall. And that's intercepted. Cincinnati's ready to go on the attack. Yoshi stick handling in his own zone. Quick pass to Fisher. Along the half wall with the puck. Jacksonville's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves the puck down low. Moves stinky. it forward. Oh, Spectacular that was stinky. stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? But he came out and challenged him. Good save. And he makes the save. Jacksonville's got the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Slides it across to Johns. Stones up with the blocker. King's job is not just to stop the puck, but get it out of danger. He does that here. Works it across to Kreider. Look out, a two-on-one. Jones is hauled down. The official's arm is up. Here comes the call. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess, but you already know at this point you're going to sit down. And now he angles it across to Fisher. They clear the zone. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Tosses it on to Kreider. To the front! Sets up from Gretzky's office. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. 
And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call is coming up. Roach going to serve a pair for interference. You can slow a player down, but it can't be that obvious. He gets involved in his lane of skating, and interference will be the call. There's the whistle stopping the play. And he's going to the box for two. Delay a game is the call here, Ray. Some people don't like it. I do like this penalty. The glass is 10 feet high. You're a pro player. You should be able to shoot it off the window. More embarrassing penalty than this? Is there one? No, not like this. And that's picked off in front. And the puck clears the zone. Here's a chance behind the net. Scrum ensues along the boards. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Here's a chance! And a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. Yeah, he's a sharp thing. Oh, how did he keep that one out? What a save! And manages to clear the zone. Angles it over to Kreider. And sends it just out of reach. Jacksonville's got the puck in the defensive end. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Cincinnati's got the puck along the boards. Not able to connect. Quick feed to Jones. And he feeds it down to Kreider. Moves it around along the half wall. And he totally whiffs on it. And a big kill keeps the one goal lead intact. We're back to even strength. Well, not much they're going to be able to do about that. The power play failed. Now they go back to even strength. Chance in front. Outstanding save and a huge opportunity. Hagelin's doing all he can to keep that puck out of the net. It's a dangerous chance, and he comes up big. Not exactly how the coach drew that one up. We'll get a face-off. Jacksonville's been the better team here in this first period. More shots and more goals. Just a better all-around execution. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Dumps it in. Pass taken behind the goal. Slides the puck to Jones. Well, that'll do it for an entertaining opening 20 minutes of hockey as the horn sounds. Jacksonville's pace of play, the difference here in the first 20 minutes. They lead at 1-0. Second period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action. won the draw. Can't connect. Puck grabbed by Jones. Let's it go. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Nice pass. Here's a shot and makes the save. Dishes it to Jacobs. Picked off. He scores! It's good to be greedy. You get one, you chase that next one. Really put your foot down on the opponent. So nice, they snipe twice. Jacksonville's dominated in the shot department, and now they're starting to dominate in the goal department as well. This is wearing a team down. You start getting lots of shots, you spend lots of time in the, their defensive zone, they start to defend with straight legs, you generate more shots, and eventually, there's a goal. Lots of time left in this period. Jacksonville's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Right out in front, scores! Anything you can do, I can do better. Wow, that didn't take very long, did it? They give up the one goal and they go right back down the ice and score. That's really impressive work. Cincinnati's been
back to set a race, and now it is just a deficit of one. What a difference just the one goal makes in the way that you look at the game, what makes you think is possible. They only need one more to even this up. Puck exits the zone. From the right side and up the middle. Takes the puck at the point. Quick pass to Yoshi. And that shot dies in traffic. The Icemen have taken possession along the wall. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Kreider's got it along the wing. Slides the puck down low. Huge steal in his own end. Jacksonville's coaches constantly work on this in practice, and that's to be in the right position to intercept pucks on the middle of the ice. They've done a terrific job tonight. Cincinnati's looking to break out of their own end. Throws it in. Handles the puck. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Sends it across. Can't connect. Couldn't connect on that pass. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. And he stands tall in goal. Takes the feed. Passes right to the front. Scores! His second of the game. Well, he's been on it tonight. Really good skating legs. He's finished off a couple of plays, too. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Jacksonville's got a 3-1 lead. Winds up from the point. Stops him cold. The setters will glide into the dot. Fisher's won it off the faceoff. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Jacksonville's gained possession along the boards. Feeds it on over to Fisher. Takes the pass. Strong defensive effort. Jacksonville's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe... He scores! What a goal! here in this second period, right? It's amazing what a goal does. The energy on the bench changes. Guys can't wait to get on for their next shift. Puck picked up in the open ice. Here's a short pass to Fisher. Let's it go! And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Peter's gonna play it against the half wall. Back at the point, they set it up. Passes right to the front, and that one's broken up. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. More than half the period has expired. Cincinnati's trailing by one. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. Picks off the pass. Moves it quickly over to Heater. Big time stop there. Finds nothing but air on that shot. The Cyclones gain control of the puck against the wall. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Jacksonville's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. From the place 99 made famous, Cincinnati's got the puck along the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. And he slides it quickly to Ho. Just a great defensive read there. Jacksonville's got possession here in the neutral zone. To his teammate, comes up with the stop. Slides the puck ahead to Jones. The Cyclones will play it in their own end. And that one's picked off. Jacksonville's at the back end. He says, let's get physical on that play. Passes it to Jones. They've got numbers. Center down in front. And that one's blocked. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play. If you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. Getting into the later stages of this period. Just one goal separating these two teams as we sit with a 3-2 lead. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. Sends the pass down low. Oh, he misses an opportunity there. Looking to be too perfect. Get it on the net. You've got a better chance to squeak one through the goal. And with just seconds to spare, they get a goal here to close things out. you got to 
to look at it from both ways. That's a real kick in the pants for the team that gave up the goal. But what a boost of energy for them to score this late in the period. Lots of terrific comeback for them. They've been playing from behind the entire game. They finally tie it up. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. And there's the horn ending period number two. Boy, no shortage of offense here. is just around the corner so don't even think about putting that controller down Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. Third period is now underway in this very tightly contested affair so far. Picked up along the boards by Roca. Johns frightens the other team as soon as he collects the puck here. He's got two. He's looking for a hat trick. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. We got a tie game. Fishers won the draw. Moves the puck along the half wall. Moves it to Johns. Pumps it away in his own end. Jacksonville's got a hold of it along the wall. Gets in front of it. King's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Slides it diagonally to Kreider. Broken up at center. Pass to Heater. Jacksonville's got the puck against the half wall. Excellent stick work on the play. And he regains control of the puck. Here he is on the wrong around. We've got a penalty coming up on the play. Interference is the call here, Ray. If he moves his feet just a little bit more, he's in better position. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Hasn't been many opportunities tonight on the power play, but here is one. We'll see if they can take advantage. Move to the middle. The Iceman have possession along the boards. Loses his balance on the play. Cincinnati's got the puck now. Jacksonville's ready to go on the attack. Keeps hold of the puck. Makes the save. Jacksonville's he scores his hat trick on the night. Uh, what a great night for him. He's had some chances. He's capitalized three times now. And on the road, it feels really good. Jacksonville's done a wonderful job putting a lot of pucks on net. And they lead it early in this third period. Johns looks around. And he was right there. They can't connect. Picks off the pass. Through center along the wing. From the left side, takes it at center. Jacksonville's going to play it from the corner. It's in the back of the net. He scores!
30 seconds. Conversely, deflating for the other team. Man, that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. There wasn't much room there, but that's a snappy release. It beats the goalie low on the glove side. Jacksonville's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. Fisher's got it against the boards. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Here he is in close, and that goes wide. You can go games without a chance from here. Quick feed to Ho. From the boards, he takes that pass. And now he moves it to Kreider. Made the stop on that play. Haglund's had a difficult night tonight. He's really struggled with the puck bouncing around on him. That was a sharp save there. I like the way he controlled the puck. He's lucky, though, that his teammates have bailed him out with a good offensive night. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Jacksonville's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Fishers won it in their own end. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And the officials waving off icing here. Rocked him in the open ice. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. And there's a lucky souvenir for someone in the crowd as the puck hits out of play. The centermen glide into position. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And now it's over to Ho. On the attack along the boards. Just wide. Sends the pass over. Johns has already got the hattie. He wants more. Be greedy when the going's good. Taken along the wall by Kreider. It's a two-on-one. Shot shuts him down. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Here in the back half of this period, 5-3 is where we sit. Fishers won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Jacksonville's across the blue line. Quick pass to Roca. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Let's get the official decision. Kreider's been nabbed for tripping. Reaching for the puck, trying to be in position. You're just a little bit away, and then you get nabbed for tripping. Yeah, it's always tough to use the I got stuck excuse, right? Never works. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Icemen have gained possession off the wall. Here's a short pass to Fisher. Nice poke check. Cincinnati's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Moves it quickly over. And scores! scores! And that one going off the defender for an own goal. Oh, you know he's just trying to clear the puck away. He ends up rifling it past his own goaltender. Whether you're up or down, it doesn't matter. This one stinks. Cincinnati's closed the gap here in the second half of this third. They've given themselves a, an opportunity now, just trailing by one. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. And they fail to go tape to tape. Sends it down low. Rocks them on the play. And the defenders come up with the puck. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Cincinnati's got the puck along the boards. Here's a chance to set up now. Roach hauled down. Penalty on the way. He got rocked again. He's got to get his head up here. They're going to be carting him off the ice. Puts it on net. Nowhere for that shot to go through. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Roca. Receives the pass. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Hose called for tripping. He's off to the box. It's funny. Coaches always tell you, get your stick on the puck. And then when you try and the guy trips up, they tell you, get your stick out of there. You kind of stop. And that one's broken up. Cincinnati's got it in their own zone. And they manage to clear it. Drills them. Huge steal in his own end. Looks to get the puck over to Kreider. Forces the turnover. Scooped up along the wall by Take Jones. Take a seat, bud. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Moves it to Heater. Need a little more mustard on it. Makes the save as he got a blocker on it. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. 
They get it out of the defensive end. Yoshi's got the puck in his own zone. Slides it quickly to Heater. And that pass goes awry. Offside is the call. It will have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Jacksonville's offense, the story tonight as they lead it here in this third period. Nearing the final minute of the third, the Cyclones get back to even strength after a huge effort by their penalty killers. Oh, the power play will wrap up, and they miss with a chance to score a really important power play goal. Jacksonville's gained possession along the boards. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Here they come. Three of them. Right in front. Oh, that just goes wide. Oh, the bench all stood up. Now they sit down. That was a chance to spread this game out. Oh, that could have been the insurance marker they needed. Slides the puck over. Moves it to the offensive zone. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up in the air. The Cyclones are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. His stick gets in between his feet, and when the player goes down, the penalty's going to be called. Now he takes it over the line. There he is Whoa. on the slot. He scores! And this place is going bananas. They know what the moment's all about. Well, I guess we know who the first star's probably going to be. That's three for him tonight. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. There's the horn to end period number three, still deadlocked here. That means overtime is coming up. Time is just moments away. the hero will there be a zero overtime set to go Cincinnati's shorthanded unit gets off to a good start they win the draw and take early possession quick feed to heater sends a pass over off the inside of the post and stays out a game of inches well the game will mosey along that tie game has not changed the puck hits the crossbar and stays out Jacksonville's got a hold of it along the wall. Knocked away. Picked up along the wall by Kreider. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. The Icemen have taken possession along the wall. Quick pass to Fisher. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Both teams back to even strength, and after giving up a shorthanded goal, it's an opportunity the power play unit would probably sooner forget. I certainly didn't like much about that power play. The shorthanded goal, of course, is the exclamation point. Oh, Chance to win it! Scores! And that's the game! They take it in overtime! Cincinnati's play the difference here as they come away with the overtime victory. Even see their coach's fist pump behind the bench. The overtime win always is a little sweeter.
안녕하세요.
fly away to those foreign grounds No sleep to those heavy sounds Rip jeans from our late states Loose coins till we share straights Get up and then wake up on mistakes Trust if you wanna live like us Talk like us, walk like us Let all your emotions rush Straight to your head, don't think too much Trust if you wanna live like us Talk like us, walk like us Let all your emotions rush Straight to your head, trust Bring the drums back Here we go, clean sheet of ice, challenge has been laid, and it's been accepted. Alongside Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. time to get it on here in the EASHL. Centers are lined up, official ready to drop the puck. The Icemen have won the opening faceoff wow. and take possession here at the start. Oh, what a stop! Slides the puck down low. Let's one go. He tips wow. it. He scores! Well, this is the sign of things to come. Well, I hope so. I love goals, James. This one is quick. And it's already on the board. 80s hockey, here we go. We're still in the early stages of this period. We got a 1 0 game to this point. Moves the puck to Heater. Denies him on the play. Takes the feed. Slides the puck to Yoshi. Solid check to slow him down. Nice feed inside the offensive zone from the boards. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. The Icemen have put themselves shorthanded, tripping the call. Reaches in with his stick and gets nabbed for the trip. Indianapolis sends their man advantage unit out for the first time this evening. Stewart's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. They've been trying to push for the tying goal. Now they're going to get an opportunity on the power play. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Hangs onto the puck. Indianapolis plays it against the boards. Unleashes a cannon! That's blocked. Centered out in front. Whoa. He scores! Ah, the power play comes through. They move the puck nicely, and they're able to capitalize on the extra man. 
Indianapolis wins it. Here's a short pass to Benjamin. Indianapolis plays the puck along the boards. The Icemen have it in their own zone. Here's an odd man rush. And that goes off course. Indianapolis has it behind the cage. Berglund's moving the puck through his own zone. Nice pass. Cutting to the slot. Scores! Now you got the lead. Don't sit back. Get right back to the faceoff and try and attack again. Indianapolis has gone in front. You love to preach the importance of playing with a lead. It's so different in the game. You can have some confidence. You can have a feeling that you got a little bit of cushion. That's a big goal. Musa quickly over to Yoshi. Bats the puck right out of midair. Oh, they telegraphed the pass and he picks it off. Indianapolis has it. Tries to feed it over to Yoshi. Here they are on the attack. Yoshi's going to play it to the corner. Moves it to Fisher. Oh, you could feel that from up here. Feeds the puck to Heater. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Here's a chance. Slides it across. Jacksonville's got a hold of the puck. Yoshi's gaining momentum. Big hit! Well, James, sometimes you think you can get through a lane, but the lane is closed. That's a dead end. Indianapolis moves it quickly along the wing and tries to make a diagonal pass to Harris. Moves the puck. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Drives to the sweet spot. Whoa. He scores! We are tied! I like the way they've gone about this, James. They've kept working away, not taking too many chances, and their work has resulted in a tie game. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. It's all tied up. Nice job tying up his opponent. Jacksonville's got the puck here in the open ice. Brilliant save, read it perfectly. The setters will glide into the dot. Steps in and takes the puck. Indianapolis has it in the defensive end. Quick feed to Benjamin. And now he moves it quickly to Yoshi. Coughs it up at center. Harris plays it along the wall. Handles the puck. A chance in front. Big save. Takes the feed. Big play inside the defensive zone. Takes control of the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. No one home on that play. Too many bodies in the way. Peters taking it from his own end. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Indianapolis has it near the wall. Maintains possession. Swing and a miss. Blocked in front. Here in the late goings of the period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Long reach breaks up the momentum. From the point, they take control Let's of it. Go! They score! Ray, I don't know how many times we've traveled around. You always talk about it's better to play in front. Well, you break the deadlock here, James. Now you get out in front. You can dictate the pace of the game. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Indianapolis with possession in their own zone. And he slides it quickly to Yoshi. Drives to the paint. Gives them nothing in front. Fisher's won the faceoff. And now he tries to get it across to Johns. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Couldn't make that one happen. Can't get a hold of that pass. Talk about an offensive explosion. It finally comes to an end here this first period.
Jane Slavowski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. Period number two is about to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Stewart's got it in the corner. Picks off the feed. Jacksonville's done a really nice job positionally tonight. They've stolen the puck every time, it seems, when they needed to. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 3-2 is where we sit. It's a one-goal game in what has been a very fun contest to this point. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Stewart's won the draw here in the open ice. Nice speed at center moves up ahead now. Indianapolis takes possession along the wall. Stop that one. And with the two centers tangled up, the wingers skates away with it. And they can't convert to the play. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. The Icemen have the puck against the boards. Circles back to center ice. Oh, getting a little cheeky there. Jacksonville's won it. Quick pass to Yoshi. Gets the puck in deep. Indianapolis has possession of it now. Takes the pass. Jacksonville's got it in the neutral zone. Wrap special! What a stop. Yeah, that's a race to the post. The goalie wins it there. Gets the pad flat to make the save. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. It's a one-goal hockey game. 3-2 is where we sit. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. Indianapolis tries to break out from their own end. Stays with it. Right in front of the net. And he whiffs on it. And they can't connect. Here's a short pass to Heater. Can't catch up to the pass. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Nice zone entry from the middle. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. The centermen glide into position. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Sends the pass over. Yoshi's been a leader of this team offensively, and tonight he's really at the front of the line. Three points already. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Picked up along the boards by Harris. Jacksonville's looking to break out of their own end. Into the corner of the attacking area. How did he stop that one? Quick feed down low. Lashes him with the hit. Moves it quickly over to Yoshi. Indianapolis on the attack. Quick feed down low. He got all of that one. Quick pass across to Heater. Gets the puck over to Yoshi. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Harris is caught for the trip, and he's going on a trip to the penalty box. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. And a strong effort on that play. Great defensive effort with the stick. Puck clears the zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Johns plays it against the boards. And that's wide in the net. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Pinned up along the boards. And a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. And a successful clearing attempt. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. With the steal. Indianapolis will try to break out here shorthanded. 
From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. Comes up with a stop. Well, there are times you look for your power play, at the very least, to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength. Past the midway mark in this period, Indianapolis is in a dogfight. They're clinging to this 3-2 lead. And now it's grabbed by Harris. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. There's the whistle, icing the call. Here in the later stages of this period, Indianapolis leads it 3-2. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Looks to set up at the point now. Came up with the save on that play. Jacksonville's looking to break out. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Now a quick pass to Yoshi. Oh, great little takeaway at center. Fisher's got the puck. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Unable to reach that one. Jacksonville's got possession here in the neutral zone. What a stop as he puts out the fire. Second period nearly in the books here. Sends it over. Puts it high. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Jabs the puck away. Period number two is in the books. There's been no shortage of offense tonight. Samoski, Ray Ferraro ready to bring you all the action. Period number three is set to get underway. Fisher's one possession. Slides it to Johns. Moves it to Fisher. That pass goes a little sideways. Harris works the puck in his own zone. Stewart's carrying it ahead. Receives the pass. Turn that one aside. Here he is on the backhand. Great reflexes. Another save. Hagwood sharp to make that stop. Takes it at center. That pass doesn't go. And now he angles it across to Yoshi. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Tees him up. Blocked in traffic. Jacksonville's grabbed a hold of the puck. And now he passes it to Heater. Berglund's got it in the defensive zone. Here's a shot. Way too much. Congestion blocks that. Peters got it in the defensive Whoa. end. On their heels, trying to clear. Taken along the wall by Harris. Up along the wing. Slides the puck over. Good use of the body on the play. Sends a pass over. Sandwiched along the boards. That is a perfectly delivered hit. Rammed him straight into the boards. And he gets a whistle up there. They've been under siege here. They look like five strangers trying to defend in front of him. No Finally, kidding. he's able to cover it up. Nearing the midway mark of the period. 3-2 is where we're sitting. Taken by Roca. Jacksonville's got it in their own zone. Here's a pass down low. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Right up front. Can't connect. Grips it, rips it. Nice save off the tender's pad. Brownie's read the situation, and he's just going to let it breathe here, Ray. Well, every once in a while, the goalie will get a sense that the guys are starting to run around. He's been on top of it tonight. Been an excellent game. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Takes the feed. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Takes the feed. With possession along the wall. Quick feed to Heater. 
Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Grabs the puck behind the net. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Works it across to Yoshi. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Quick pass to Fisher. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. Here he is all alone, right in the open ice. Nothing doing. Tried to make the perfect shot. Doesn't execute it. Here's the pass. And they can't convert to the play. Takes the feed up ahead. Jacksonville's got the puck along the boards. Passes on over to Heater. Here's a short pass to Fisher. Tremendous oh. hit against the wall. You think there's a sliver of room there, James? There's none. And he got caught. Quick pass over to Heater. And it's a quick pass to Johns. Not able to connect. Great pass from off the right side. Moves it quickly over to Yoshi. Big time save with the blocker. Really good. Yep, let's One go. Rocked oh. again. James, down here, it's pretty easy to see that this guy is being targeted. He's got to notice here. He's been hit so many times tonight. Stewart's not interested in dropping the mitts and going at it. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Sends it over to Fisher. And that puck leaves the zone. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Can't find his man. Indianapolis has it in their own zone. They go on the attack through center. Stewart's hungry for that third one. He's got two. He took that quick little pass. Now he's a dangerous player. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Jacksonville's on the attack. Can't connect. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Nice pass. Indianapolis plays it along the wing. Fails to find the open man. Moves it to Johns. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. He got all of that hit on the play. They've got the defense outnumbered. And that's picked off in front. Dunks it into the other end. The Fuel have possession along the boards. They've got numbers. The Icemen have it in their own zone. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. bringing this one officially to an end. I suppose the old expression after this one is, be careful what you wish for, right? This is what they wanted, this is what they got. It just didn't turn out the way they thought it would.
supposed to yeah you call i'm sorry babe i just got the call it turns my stomach to disappoint you i know the trouble that you must go to it's from a place you can barely imagine far from the crowd and the ambulances at my best i've almost been
them cliches. Let's seize the day. All old hands is the way. Let's seize the day. All old hands is the way. You can do it. You can do it. Yes, you can. Oh. I am I, and I intend to go, go. Well, the challenge has been accepted here in this EASHL showdown, trying to find out who gets to own this one. are lined up and we are set to get things going. The Comets start with possession as we are now underway. Here's a shot and that one stopped.
Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Slides it across to Heater. Can't connect. Quick feed to Bass. Tried to pick his spot, but that goes off the side of the net. Quick pass to Gallant. Move to the middle, and they come up empty-handed. And he totally whiffs on that one. Shot! Oh, he might be shaking his head after that one. Pretty good shot. Nice delivery of the shot, but the goaltender beats him. Here's an offensive chance. From against the wall, it's centered out. Move to the middle. Whiffs on that. Grabs the puck right in front and tries to escape the pressure. Sends it across. Wow. Why? That's an understatement. He clearly doesn't like that. Fisher's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. And he serves it across to Heater. Directs it on over to Johns. Moves the puck. Nothing doing on that. And that's picked off. Lundqvist lugging the puck. Looks to pass it to Johns. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Steps into all of it in the open ice. Jacksonville's gained possession along the boards. Fisher's got it in the offensive zone. And that slides right out to center ice. The Comets have it against the wall. Handles the puck. Here's a short pass to Bass. Denies him in front. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Gallant's not anywhere close to 100% as he finishes this shift. He was banged up during it, and he tried to make sure he got to the end of the shift. Takes possession off the draw. Feeds the puck over to Johns. Great stick work with the steal. And now he moves it to Gallant. No room for that one to get through. Hammers him into the boards. Puck carrier thought he could squeeze by. All of a sudden, the door closed. Finds nothing but air on that shot. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Past the midway mark of the frame. Still looking for our first goal. Jacksonville's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Forces the turnover in the neutral zone. Bass is taken down. A penalty is coming up. And play finally comes to an end. Here's the officials. Pretty cut and dry trip on that play. Coaches will tell you, be careful with your stick, but you're trying to get the puck. I yeah. don't think a lot of times they do it intentionally. Fort Wayne's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. And if you're one of these power play guys, James, you can't wait now. It's your first opportunity of the night. You get out on the power play, you want to make a difference. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Pushes it across to Bass. Takes the feed. Takes the pass. Stopped by the goaltender. Smothered that in close chance. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Looking to break out here on the power play. Fort Wayne's got it across the line. Sends the pass over. And that's blocked. Jacksonville's got a chance to work the transition game now shorthanded. The Comet scooping up along the boards. Nice zone entry from the left. And the man advantage unit comes up empty-handed. We keep things deadlocked with both teams back at even strength. Well, the only thing that happened on that power play was the clock rolled along. Very few chances, not much danger. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Denied that one. Fort Wayne's got it into the offensive zone. Settles things down and gets... Scores! No chance for the puck stopper on that one! Fort Wayne's mindset has to be through the roof if they can maintain this to the end of the first. It doesn't have to be perfect, but what it is now is you've got a little bit of breathing room with a one-goal lead. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Receives the pass, and he's going after him here. Fisher's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. Driving right Whoa. to the front. He scores! Aye, aye, captain! Late going.
seconds of this period. We got a tie game. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Pokes the puck away. Moves it quickly over to Gallant. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Couldn't find the intended target. Slides the puck over. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Jacksonville's got the puck along the wall. Moves it to Lundqvist. Jacksonville's got the puck against the boards. Here's a chance! Oh, he'll want to have that one back! Wayne Gretzky says 100% of the shots you don't take don't go in. Same for the ones that miss the net. Gallant stick handling in his own zone. Shot! And there's the save. And there's the horn concluding period number one as both teams get on the board. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. Still tied up here as we get underway here in period number two. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Jacksonville's focus has to be getting more pucks to the net. They really didn't do much in that first period. Grabbed along the board by Johns. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Lots of time left in this period. We are all tied up in this one. Nice job tying up his opponent. Couldn't connect on that pass. Sends a pass over. Can't maintain possession after that hit. He let that one go after the whistle. The setters will glide into the dot. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. With the one-timer. Oh. Scores! Breaks the tie! I wasn't sure if anybody was going to be able to start to change the momentum of this tight game. Fort Wayne's jumped out to a one-goal lead here in the second. Breaking the tie was critical. Now you can play in front and try and dictate the pace of the game. Offside is the call, but we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. The Comets continue to lead here in this second period, looking strong offensively. Puck is dropped and play resumes. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Grabs the puck. Moves it around along the half wall. Quick feed to Heater. And the puck banks off the glove. Shabbat's going to hang on here for the whistle and stop it to play. It's a good thing he does because you haven't mentioned his name and I don't know how long. The play's been at the other end of the ice forever. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. Off the left wing and into center. Jacksonville's yes, going to hold him in against the wall. Lundqvist got it behind his own net. Sends it quickly to Gallant. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Fort Wayne's playing it from the side. Fires away! And a great save! Here inside the offensive end, takes the feed from along the boards. Big stop by the keeper. Oh, he's on it there. Both saves are really good ones. They've got numbers. He scores! I believe a colleague of ours likes to call those back-to-back. -back. Yeah, the coaches want you to stay aggressive after you score. They do that, and they're able to put another one up on the board. Fort Wayne's now up by a pair. Still lots of time to go, but they've been good tonight. 
there's nothing to complain about. Their coaches look like they're pretty satisfied, but this is when you push harder, try and get the third goal and make this thing out of reach. Play whistle dead because of an offside. The Comets are checking all the boxes tonight. More shots, more goals, and they lead in the second. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Quick pass to Johns. Shot with the stop. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Fort Wayne's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Bigos picks up the puck. Takes the feed. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put yeah, it anywhere. Go. The goalie smothered it all. Pass across to Fisher. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Here's a short pass to Fisher. To his teammate. Oh, what a missed chance that was. Yeah, he's got to make a better play there. He's done everything right. Now you just got to get the puck on the tape. And here's the pass to Johns. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Turn that chance aside. There's another stop. Quick work. He makes one and two saves in a row. What a steal in his own end. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. From point blank, that's three consecutive goals. Yeah, the goalie keeps looking over to the coach saying, why am I still in here? Three... for them. Fort Wayne's widened the gap yet again tonight, Ray. How far can you widen a gap? Because they keep adding on to it. It seems like shift by shift. Centering pass. He scores his hat trick on the night. Uh, what a great night for him. He's had some chances. He's capitalized three times now. And on the road, it feels really good. The good thing he one times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. Couldn't complete the play. Jacksonville's got control of it now from their own end. Moves it quickly over to Fisher. Here he is, wristed on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. From point blank range. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Moves it to Lundqvist. And that pass goes awry. Dishes it to Fisher. Quick feed to Heater. Here's a shot. And that's blocked as he gets down low. And now it's over to Gallant. Here's an odd man rush. On the backhand. And they score. Fort Wayne's offensive volcano continues to erupt here in the second period. They look like a juggernaut. They're running into this second intermission with a large lead. Nice pass. Strong defensive effort. Quick pass to Johns. And that's blocked. Moves the puck. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. Made the stop on the play. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Here's a short pass to Fisher. Jacksonville's ready to go on the attack. And they fail to go tape to tape. Great defensive stick work on the play. Couldn't complete the play. There's the horn ending period number two. I'm not sure they wanted it to end.
He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabolski, and we are ready to get this third period going. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? The comments don't have to change anything. Now in the third period, James with a really comfortable lead. They just want to ease their way home. And he's ripped off the back. Look out. Yeah, that, you didn't say that quick enough. He got flattened as he was trying to go down the boards. Picks it off in the offensive end. The Icemen have the puck in their own end. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Jacksonville's got a hold of it along the wall. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Here's a chance out front. Stopped by the goaltender. High quality chance, high quality save. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Moves it quickly over to Johns. And takes a tour out of the offensive end to Did find the space at center. Fort Wayne's got possession at center. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Answered the call there. And the play's whistled dead. Let's get the call. Fisher's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. The officials will let a little bit of interference go. Not that much. That's a pretty easy call. Jacksonville's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Fort Wayne's got the puck in the corner. Right out front. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. They move the puck out of harm's way. Passes up ahead from the left wing. Moves it to Bass. Here's the chance to set up now. With the blast. Gets down low and blocks it. Denied by the goaltender. Beard's no different than anybody else tonight. I mean, that's a good stop that he makes, but he hasn't been very good, and the team has played rather poorly. Fort Wayne showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Bass wins it in the offensive zone. That's using the body on the block. Handles the puck and tries to make a diagonal pass to Gallant. Too much congestion in front. From the point, looks to make something happen. It doesn't really matter that the power play didn't score. They've got such a nice lead. But I'll tell you, as a guy that made a living on the power play, I wanted to score every time I was out there. Takes the feed. Oh, set that hit up perfectly. Fort Wayne's got the puck along the boards. And he denied that opportunity. Fort Wayne's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. Jacksonville's got a hold of the puck. And he passes it up ahead to Fisher. Fort Wayne's got the puck in their own end. Carries it across the line. Right to the middle with authority again. James, I'm almost feeling sorry for him here. He's been throttled so many times tonight. Made the save on the play. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Jacksonville's got it in the offensive zone. Feeds it down low. No one home on that play. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Jacksonville's cut it along the wall. Sacrifices the body. Pass it up ahead. Takes the pass. Big time stop there. Scooped up along the wall by Lundqvist. Quick feed to Heater. Along the half wall with the puck. Launches it from the point! Jacksonville's gained possession along the boards. Beagle's picking up steam. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Couldn't make that one happen. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Angles it over to Bass. 
Oh, and a good heads-up defensive play. Dick oh, has got side. the puck along the wall. And now he tries to get it across to Gallant. Looking for space inside the D zone. Looking to set up offensively. And the puck leaves the zone. Linesman blows the whistle, signaling an offside, and this one's not done yet. The Comets have pummeled their opponents tonight. They have been the busier team offensively and have converted numerous times here in this third period. Strong defensive effort. The Icemen have the puck against the boards. Dismiss that chance. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. offense the story tonight as they lead it here in this third period under a minute to go in the third centering pass he scores there's their second of the night well, i guess they can look at this and say hey we did a couple of good things way too late but it's something for them to try and build on puck possession so critical another face off coming up here sends the pass over jacksonville's got the puck along the wall Denies him with the save. And now he angles it across to Yoshi. Here they are on the attack. Slides it across. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Picks off the pass. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Pucks it away in his own end. Scoops up the puck here. The Comets scoop it up along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Bass. Beautiful drop pass. He got all of that hit. Can't catch up to the pass. Takes control of the puck. We got a Tonight. penalty coming up on the play as the referee extends his hand in the air. Fisher's getting handed a major penalty for that boarding call. It's the right call if he elevated Three. through the hit. A lot of jaw back and forth here. It's the rever. I mean, the guys look like they're pretty agitated. Peters won the faceoff. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. There's the final horn, and this one's in the books. Well, Razor, you want to sum this one up for us? Yeah, bad choice, bad decisions. We've all made them. Those guys just made one. I believe the term is stay in your lane.